Uh, the other thing, too, that's still on my to-do list is for us to go back to the mountains and um, check out some of those caves. A, for the hell of it, and B, because we'll get... you got to be kidding me. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to keep working on getting our base going here. I want to at least get it uh, to a place where it's functional with our crafting stations and things. Um, and, you know, some of it I'll, I'll inevitably do off camera, too. But uh, it's just, you know, we got to get that stuff up and running before we can really progress uh, in the game in other ways. Uh, I don't think I'm even going to bother trying to repair this until we get a roof over the place because it's just going to get wet again. All right, let's see where are we at. So most of you guys in the comments seemed to favor the stone, uh, the stone building with the dark wood trim. One of you wanted to know what the wood looked like with the dark wood trim. So we can take a quick look at that and, and see how that looks. So we'll grab our our tar here. Uh, yeah, I guess we can pick that up. Hopefully that doesn't make us too heavy. If it does, we'll just throw it out. So let's go to building, and we want to grab the dark wood pull. And then we'll grab the arch. Oh, why is that? Why is that covered up? Hmm. I don't like that. It should be facing outward, but it doesn't. Okay, so that that's already a problem with using the dark wood and the normal wood. Because it, it covers up the the curvature of the arch. This will probably look jank, but what if we turn the wall around the other way? Does that do anything? Uh -uh. Well, that's odd. You'd think that um, they would would have made that so that you could see the the curve if you were building this on normal wood. But that's a that's a deal breaker for me, for sure. Because you know you're missing out on kind of the cool aspects of using this design, and it, it, it's kind of you know clipped there a little bit too. But I don't know if we can do much about that. Okay, so we're gonna go with we're gonna go with stone walls and dark wood trim. I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, right. Okay, so that being the case, I will probably add most of the trim off camera because I want to get the main structure going first. So let's go ahead and take all of this down and we'll replace it with stone. That should all come tumbling down now. Oh. Um... I'm... Hmm. Let me look at something here. If we... Oh, we don't have a workbench in range. Let's just make a new one. Okay. Uh, go back to building... 
carved dark wood divider. That's interesting. All right, what if we... Um, put that up there, and then... Can we do the shorter piece underneath it? Yeah. So we have... <clears throat> We have that arrangement. We could also do something like this. Heavy build. Uh, now we need the stone cutter. Do we? Oh, that. Okay, yeah, that does it. All right. So if we just get it kind of part way in the corner there. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let's let's go with this for now, but I might change my mind later. So we'll remove bottom piece from there. And put that in uh, I'd say roughly about there. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. Because um, I kind of want to see what it's going to look like when it's all completely put together. Let's also go to here and grab this piece. And I want to also do something along these lines to trim it out. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I think we'll definitely do that along the top. this yeah I like that actually <coughs> because it, you know it kind of frames everything in can we also uh, do that on the windows too I think hmm. yeah well we can it's just going to you know, we're going to have kind of like these little corner pieces, but I don't think I can do anything about that. Unless I try and glitch it in, but then it'll probably flicker, so. I mean, that doesn't look bad, though, actually. I just wish, you know, this piece was not obscured. But I have a feeling, you know, even if I turn this around, it's still probably going to do the same thing regardless. Probably need to come closer to the stone cutter. Here, let's turn it this way. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be the same no matter what. No matter which way we turn it. So we're just going to have to live with that. This stuff picked up here and so now that we've figured that out um, we got to bring the stone cutter over here now I probably should just make two of these because we can always break one down later yeah it's all right not a big deal okay so let's just put this up right here in the patio and maybe more over to that side for the moment the rest of that should come down by itself oh 
Oh, we're going to have to redo that pillar too. And this one for that matter. Alright, so we want those to just kind of glitch in a little bit. I, I don't really have a good way to make that exact, so I have to kind of eyeball it. Maybe right about there-ish. No, it needs to come a little further this way. My camera angle sucks. There, that's good right there. Get that put back in place. All right, now let's get our walls in. So I was holding the walls out to here. Alright, that gets the other wing built. Now what we want to do is... I'm thinking about actually leaving this open. Uh, we're going to you know, be covering the porch regardless. We have to. Uh, for the crafting stations. So maybe what we'll do is we'll that up there and then we'll do something like this now in regards to covering this I'm just trying to think how I want that to go if we One, one option is to just run the front of the house, the roof on the front of the house, all the way across. The thing I don't like about that plan is that it's, it would kind of, oh, I guess I put that in the wrong place, didn't I? It would kind of, um, I think, detract from the wings a little bit. In other words, the wings wouldn't stand stand out quite as much if we if we did the roof that way. So if we just did the roof normally, you know, I am starting to think that it might behoove us to go up another section. Um, if we, the blast furnace is, I think, going to be the tallest thing we would put in here. So let's grab that and put it in place. And then maybe we work around it, you know, work, work around it based upon its height. I'm just going to stick that right there. Okay, so we got to go, uh, we got to go back uh, to the main base. And um, I got to get the artisan table. So I don't think we really need it over here. The only reason I set it up is so I could temporarily set up the blast furnace. All right, guys. Um, let's go ahead and set up the... Here's actually what I'm thinking. This room maybe can be our kitchen and all the crafting stuff associated going in there. We'll probably do a big... <clears throat> okay, if we're going to do that, I might remove this window and put a big fireplace in here. Or we'll... <coughs> or we'll just do a big central hearth like we, you know, have in our other place. Um... And then this room will be indoor crafting stuff. 
which of course will include a uh, the artisan bench. So let's just put the artisan bench right in this corner here. And we can put a normal craft. This will be like our permanent crafting bench. We'll put that there. The thing about that, though, is it's going to be a little interesting, you know, getting all the upgrades set up <clears throat> in a way that, you know, everything fits properly. So I might have to move a few things around to get that part done. Yeah, uh, that might be tight. Okay, well, um, anyway, let's, uh, let's stay focused on what we're doing out here for now. So I want to grab the... Does the windmill need to be in range of... The artisan tier. Well, you know what? If it does, I guess we'll have to build another one. But except for that, I'm going to have to get another dragon tier. I only have one. You need two. But what we want, want to do right now is build the blast furnace. Okay, so we're going to need 20 fine wood, 10 iron, and some certling cores in addition to stone. So I've got all of the metal in here. I'd rather not get wet, but I was out of stamina. So let's grab the iron. Oh, we only need a 10 iron, not 20. Okay. Let's we'll put the extra in here. We need five startling cores. some cores over here. I must not have. Let's check in here. Oh, just harpoons in there. Were they back in here and I just was looking for metal so my eyes didn't see them? Nope. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I gotta run back to the other base and get some circling cores. Not a big deal. Item prevents you from teleporting. Of course it does. Nothing's ever easy. Here, put all that shit in there. All right. We have everything we need to make this. Oh, yeah, that thing's high. <clears throat> See, we need to... See, that's the other thing, too, is we've got to be able to get to these two sides. So that means it really needs to... We put it like all the way up against here. It doesn't really give us enough room to get behind it. That was kind of what I was afraid of is that this porch isn't really probably going to be large enough to do all this. Hmm. Let's work the problem. Let's work the problem. Um, okay, what if we take and turn it this way? And hold it up against here. Like that. We could extend the porch out further. Um... Yeah, and actually we could even do like a a walkway all the way around the base, like a wraparound porch. If we did that, would we want to make it stone or wood?
our only option for stone would be just more well no that's <coughs> that's not entirely true we could we could use the top of a stone wall but I don't know if I'll, I would like the look of that I think if we're gonna do that we're gonna need to use foundations but what we could do is we could at least do that for the patio this wall I'm planning on pushing out further too by the way I think I mentioned that already in the last episode but in case I didn't that kind of makes this a little jank too now I think so I'm not going to do that. So what we might end up doing is actually pushing the porch out even further than this. But this works now because now we can get in behind here, you know, to do our thing. We could even hold it further back to this line. I think I will do that. There we go. It also means, though, that... Well, wait a minute, though. This doesn't need to be covered. That's right. That doesn't need to be covered. Um, and the other things we would put out here are... Just a normal forge and a couple kilns, which also don't need to be covered. Everything else I'm going to put indoors anyways. So I think we're okay with this height. We just won't cover the porch. Here, let's <clears throat> let's look at our stuff here. So the stone oven we could put outside and it does generate smoke, so it kind of makes sense to do that. Um the smelter and the kiln, of course, would be outside things. The windmill, that also is an outside thing and does not need to be covered. And I I think I would like a couple of those. In fact, we might even want a couple blast furnaces too, but... We'd want to put this one on this side, but the problem is it would it wouldn't work. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try and just get away with one blast furnace. I don't have any coal over here, so it, I yeah okay. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Let's try to get away with just one blast furnace. We can actually at least put our first load of black metal in it though and next time we go back to the the other base I'll just grab some coal bring it back with me in fact you know what I think we need to go back there now because I want to actually make the windmill next and put it out here and see it's pretty big I, it's, I think it's even bigger than this and definitely taller, but I just wonder if I could get a couple of them out here. <clears throat> so let's do that. Let's go back. We'll grab some coal so we can start smelting black metal. Um, and I'll make nails because we can take nails through the portal. We just can't take, you know, the actual metal, uh, the ore or the ingots. That's totally, by the way, I, I've probably complained about this before, but that's totally an artificial restriction. There's no reason for it other than to make the game harder. <laughs> but, you know, it is the, it's the way the devs intended to us to play the game, and so even though I know there's a mod, in fact, we even had that mod on for a while, you know, to disable that, it's, uh, it's just what we got to deal with. And I, you know, I, I kind of get it, I guess, for the, for the sake of making the game more challenging and having you have to think a little more strategically about things. I do get that, but I just don't like it when there's limitations in games for the sake of the limitation and not for a good valid reason, you know? 
I mean, for example, why why can I not take iron ore or an iron ingot through the gate, but I can take iron nails? That makes no sense. It's inconsistent. So it's just stuff like that that kind of bugs me a little bit. Just a little bit. Not enough to, of course, ruin the game for me, but, you know, I'm just... It bugs my practical mind. Okay, yeah, that's 32 things of coal. That's enough for now. Enough to get started anyways. Um, right, so let's make another 20 iron nails. And that gives us a total of 30 for a windmill. All right, so the inputs are on the front and the back. Uh, so could we put one here? That's a problem. I think because of the way that the wind, the sails will move with the wind and the space we have to work with, we can only, we only really have room for one of these. I mean, I can make two fit, but it's just going to be too crowded, I think, especially considering we still need to get at least one kiln and one, you know, smelter set up too. So that being the case... Let's set this one up over here, but we're going to have to pull it this way. Mm, let's try this. I don't know if that's going to be enough. No, it's still clipping into the wall. I'm not super pleased with how any of this is working, to be honest with you, but I think for now, we're going to just put it here, and I, we might need to come up with a whole different solution. Like, what we could do... What we could do is we could actually create another building um, and make it like a mill, right? Figure out, oh, that reminds me, I need to harvest these crops and replant them so we can keep increasing their yield here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just leave it there for now on the porch. But um, we're going to have to come up with a different solution uh, unless... I feel like I can always just get away with one, which I could. It just takes longer to process everything is all. We'll see how it goes. It's it's also a little jank to have that sitting there on the porch anyways, because once the roof and all the walls are in place, it, it would block the wind anyways. I don't think... I, well, actually, I don't think that'll matter. Maybe it will. Needless to say, that's probably a temporary spot for that windmill. <laughs> um, okay, let's get our... Plains crops replanted here. And we'll adjust the pattern. Let's do a 4x4 four four pattern here. Actually, we've got quite a bit of this. Maybe we'll do a little bit larger pattern. That'll just save us a lot of time here. Alright, trying to get it to snap let's start it right there all right let's um reduce that down and we'll reduce it down some more okay so that's it for the flax i'd like to how much barley does this thing take? Oh. We need to do that. We'll have to put some stairs or something in here too, but I'll worry about that after I push the wall out further. That takes 50. Okay, I have 156. Okay, let's go ahead and load this up with 50 barley. I love the noise that makes. And then we'll plant the rest of it. Okay. 
And that should be it. Fantastic. All right, so we we have our first uh, batch of barley being ground into flour. Once we pick this flour up, it's going to open up some new recipes for us. Now, let's take a look next at... Um, we, we definitely need a charcoal kiln and a blast, at least one of each of those over here. Because um, I'm almost certain I'm not going to have enough iron to set everything up and we might need more iron for the future. So we're going to need to smelt it over here because, of course, we can't bring it over here through the portal. Um, so let's just plan on one each of these for now. So we're going to need another 10 certling cores. Do I have another tin? I only have five more. Oh, I was going to put that charcoal in there, too. Let's do that. And I'm going to set the... Or just throw the other little bit down there. For now. That sound of that mill is epic, man. Okay, so we need to go get five more Sertling cores and, well, that for sure. And we'll repair as well. All right, let's put the smelter um, here because we need to get to both sides of it, but we don't have to get behind it. I know it's going to block the window a little bit, but it is what it is. So I don't need enough room to scooch in there and put some coal in it. We'll put the kiln in this corner. Right about there. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Um, if we want to also put the stone oven out here, which I haven't decided yet, we might be able to get it set it up in the kitchen in such a way that you know and put like a little chimney but if I decide that that doesn't work well and I put it out here you know we're gonna have to move the windmill anyways and then what I'll probably do um, is I'll probably put the I'll probably move this over to there Or no, maybe we'll move the kiln over to there. We'll move the smelter here. And then we'll put the oven in this corner. Because I want it on the same side as the kitchen. For obvious reasons. Good. Okay. We're making progress, peeps. Let's get our... Um, let, let's get a... A ceiling up in this wing... And then we'll uh, get the rest of our crafting stations in. You know, we could... We could maybe make the second floor... Uh, the walls wood. And just have the, bo the bottom story be stone. It's a possibility. We'll think, we'll think about it. That's what we need to do, though. And I'm not worried about, you know, a little bit of the stone clipping through because that's going to be covered by the, the wall anyway. If we did use wood walls instead of stone, it would make the rooms just a little more spacious up above. Does that count as being covered? It doesn't. It needs an actual roof. I forgot about that. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Um, well, then... Let's, let's finish building out this wing, then. Now, if we do go with wood walls... We are going to see a little, <clears throat> a little bit of this stone peeking out. But to get the... Uh, 
Uh, to get the full flavor of this, I'm, I want to put the... I don't want to pick up that black metal yet. I want to put the black tar pieces in, too. Where, uh, did I Have I used all my black tar? Oh, no, I put it in the wagon. I was going to say, man, I thought we had a bunch of that. Stamina. Well, I don't know if we have a bunch. I'm I'm just not feeling this. I can always add it back later. But uh There we go. Let's just get rid of that. Okay, so we want to go with um this. Here, let's just do this and that. The wall, you know, is still going to continue this way, but I'll still put this there regardless. Let's go with the long piece. Actually, do we need to put that there if we're going to do this? We don't. We just need to... Uh, this one. Alright. That's looking good. Oh, I just... We just got our new recipes. Unbaked lox pie. I thought I had to actually open that to grab those, but I guess not. We might as well pick this up, too, because I'm going to inevitably run into it. We'll just stick it back in here for now. Okay, so we won't be able to do anything with this until we get our oven going. I'll put that there. Um... We're out of wood. Okay. So I guess the question now is, do I want to try... Oh, fuck. I ran out of stamina. Do I want to try... Um, oh, this isn't good. Okay. <laughs> the wood walls, or do we want to just keep going with stone? This is our best representation of what it's going to look like. If we went if we went with wood we could also do the overhang thing that, you know, some of the older medieval European style houses used. I wouldn't really want to do that with stone. I mean, I could put a, I could put a temporary roof just over this floor, but there's not. We might as well. There's it's not like we're in a hurry for one thing. We might as well just keep building, building it up, and that way we got that wing done. But, nevertheless, I am not going to be able to do anything until I get some more wood. And I think, guys, too, we're going to have to wrap up this episode. So, um, I hope you guys are enjoying these building episodes. But the fact of the matter is, this is a fairly significant project, and it's just going to take time. To build it um and i will you know i will do some of the more mundane things off camera but a lot of it i want to do on camera too because you know you guys a lot of you guys do like to see this kind of stuff and so that's just part of part of the show so to speak um so yeah we'll just keep working on this um i definitely intend to get out and do some more adventuring but here again we just got to get this base set up um uh, or at least get it in a functional state before we, you know, start going and doing off and you know, doing other things. Uh, we still have got all of the Miss Lands content to do. I've never experienced Miss Lands, nor have I ever watched anybody else do it. And then, of course, Ashlands. Uh, the other thing, too, that's still on my to-do list is for us to go back to the mountains and um, check out some of those caves. A, 
for the hell of it, and B, because we'll get... you got to be kidding me. <laughs> and B, because we'll get crystal. Um, oh my god, that's embarrassing. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Yeah, I should have just ended the fucking episode and you guys never would have seen it happen. <laughs> okay, well, you know, shit happens, right? I was out of food and just completely took me by surprise, as usual. Anyways, guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we will... Um, where's the... Oh, here we go. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Punch the air.